Hey guys, welcome back. Here with a trainer's toolkit. This has been out a little while now. And uh, we're just getting it today. It's uh, delayed, but I'd like to thank Geek Fashion for getting it here in a timely manner. It's a little bit of a mix up with the distributor, but uh, they made it right. Here, we'll put the Geek Fashion up there on the screen. If you haven't checked them out, go to geekfashion.ca and take a look at their Pokemon stuff. They sell a lot of other, uh, like Funkos and clothing and, and stuff like that. Uh, so if you need geeky items in Canada or the U.S., that's the place to shop. Take a little look at the uh, the box here. Catalog the. It's quite heavy. I didn't open the first one. Uh, the red trainers toolkit but uh, we're gonna open this one the last one had Dedenne's in it I believe this one has Crobats so it definitely is based on playability hmm. we can hit the plastic sleeve off of there there's toolkit and I would imagine that it has the lovely matte sleeves. It seems like everything has those sleeves now. Oh cool, so we have like a BCW style box here, which is good. It'd be nice for card storage. It is quite heavy. We have our dice. Nice speckled, it's got silver flake inside like black, black die. And a uh, big blue boy, it's pretty cool. We have four Pokemon card booster packs, pretty good selection, uh, based on playability, so you have to expect that they're going to give you stuff that is not going to rotate this month. Sword and Shield, Vivid Voltage, and a couple of Chilling Rain, and a couple, couple more chances at, uh... oh cool, so these, I think the last time they were like a weird sort of disco pattern this time they sort of match the uh, the packaging a little bit always happy to get another set of these great for when we're doing the uh, pre-releases and such we have a code card oh god so I don't know if they were packaged like this last time the uh, bands we got a brick of energy I'll leave that in there we have a very cool burn marker I don't know if there's supposed to be a poison marker in there as well. Oh, no, it popped out on us. So we got the green poison marker. I'll probably use those in my, I'll put those in my, my kit, my travel kit. We have a rule book, trainer's toolkit, deck builder guide. I don't think we need that, but it might be useful if you're uh, new to the game. We should know what we're doing by this point. Now these, this is uh, this is interesting. I've seen uh, some Japanese products. I think mostly older Japanese products that use this type of uh, packaging, um, but never anything in English. I don't know. Leave uh, leave it in the comments if uh, the first box was like this. So we're gonna gently pull this off here. I believe we get two of this promo crowbat on the front, just in case you don't have enough crowbats between the multiple printings already. They're going to be even more affordable now with this toolkit version. Very cool. And then we also get a promo, pro, promo, promo Sabrina and Bryson. Very cool. A little bit off center there. Uh, we'll go through. So there's a promo there. Air balloon. These look like a completely different printing. They're almost like darker and glossier than usual, which is interesting. Maybe just different print run. So these bosses orders would be a uh, an alternate version as well. Although, actually, I think these might be the first non-hollow versions. I think there's only been uh, hollow versions at, at this point in time. 
Big Charms, Cape of Toughness, Bird Keepers, Leons. We have lots of those from the Charizard decks. A couple of Marnies. These would be variants as well, but they've been in so many products now that you probably have them already, unless you're just starting out. Professor's Research Juniper. I think these are unique to this set as well. Uh, because there's a hollow version. Those would be the non hollow. Although maybe they came out. Oh no, they came out in the set? Maybe they came out in the set. In Shining. Shining Fates. I could be wrong on that. Maybe it's just the, the hollow version of that and the, uh, the Lysander. We'll go back and find the Lysanders. Single Strike Energies, Rapid Strike Energies, Turbo Patch. So, in essence, if you bought two of these kits, you'd have a play set of Crobats, and you'd have four of pretty much all of these extremely playable trainers, Capture Energies, which are awesome, and then a promo at the end as well. This is the Miss Magius SM245. So another definitely exclusive to this box item. We'll have to see about the professor's research and the boss's orders. They might be they might be identical. Either way, awesome to get some more of them. And uh, we'll get into the the packs themselves. Maybe we'll go in chronological order, starting with Sword and Shield. Starting off with the Mud Bray. Grookey, Krabby, Rookie D, Rhyhorn, Clavopus, and a Galarian Rapidash. I kind of forgot that the uh, Galarian Rapidash was even in Sword and Shield base, but apparently there is one. All right, Vivid Voltage. Can we find a Rainbow Chunky? Would be pretty cool. I don't know what the uh, the next card that I really want to pull. Probably the full art Pikachu that I don't have. It would be nice to get. Ferroseed, Dedene, Drober, Oshawott, Dusko, Flareon Reverse, cool. And a Shaman Holographic. I thought I saw something in there, but maybe just the edge of the code card. Probably likely. All right, Chilling Rain. I. Uh, seem to be extremely terrible at pulling alternate arts so let's see if we can change that up chilling rain has been terrible to me score bunny grookey snorant swirlix got a print line on him and a passimian not great although i like the artwork the little sobble there Welcoming Lantern. All right, last chance. Chilling Rain. I'm sure there will be more Chilling Rain packs and other products that I open, but last chance for right now. What I have on hand. Deerling. Delibird. Larvesta. Mareep. Heracross. Weavile. And a Seviper. I do like that Seviper, but... Not what I was hoping for. I got the Zangoose art that works in conjunction, or the uh, the two artwork combined to make one artwork. Kakuna, Karen, Echoing Horn, and a code card for the ladies. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Also, I'll put some links to Discord if you'd like to hang out on there, but uh, also Instagram. Twitter, something else, but <laughs> apparently not uh, not OnlyFans because you're no longer allowed to have uh, spicy content on there, so maybe we'll skip that one. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. If you're watching this on the weekend when it comes out, just got to milk it for 15 more seconds here to hit that 10 minutes. If you're still watching at this point, let me know in the comments. I know no one is. But if you are, I want to know. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs>